more on this story, we can go across to France 24. Seema Gupta standing by in Rome. Seema, talk us through the disappearance of this student back in 2016. What exactly happened? Well, Julia Regeni was a 28-year-old postgraduate student at Cambridge University. And he was in Egypt uh, doing research on Egypt's independent trade unions. Now, he disappeared back in January 2016, as you mentioned. And then about a week or so later, uh, his body was discovered in a ditch near Cairo. Now, the body was mutilated and disfigured. Now, four members of Egypt's security forces have gone, gone on trial now in absentia on this issue. Their names have been named in their names have been listed in court documents. And Italian prosecutors believe that Regeni was actually under surveillance by the security forces because they thought he was a spy and that he was eventually abducted, tortured, and killed. This is according to the Italian prosecutors. Now they say they've carried out an investigation, they've got proof, they've got witness testimony uh, to back up their claims. Uh, the murder at the time when it happened in 2016 caused a crisis in terms of ties between Italy and Egypt. And Italy, in fact, at that time, recalled its ambassador. Uh, and so right now, finally, you're actually having this entire thing go to trial here in Rome. So the trial is happening. Is Egypt cooperating at all? Well, the Italian prosecutors say that Egypt has failed to prosecute, uh, to collaborate. And in fact, the Egyptian authorities uh, in March of 2016 uh, said that their security forces had captured and killed a criminal gang. And they found the belongings of Giulio Regeni on this criminal gang, uh, on the members of this criminal gang. And, but the Italian authorities say that this was simply a cover-up. And in fact, uh, late last year, uh, the Egyptians say they've closed their investigation on this case and they believe that the perpetrators remain unknown. Now, the Italian authorities, for their part, want to go ahead with the trial. But the trial as it stands, with court-appointed uh, lawyers for the defendants that are not even present, uh, say that this shouldn't go ahead because these four individuals are not even aware of the case. Now, a lower court earlier this year in May said that that kind of logic doesn't really apply because this case has gotten a lot of media attention. So the news of the case should have arrived to these four individuals. The Egyptian authorities have not shared their contact details, so there's no way of contacting them directly, but the lower court believes it should still go ahead. We'll have to see whether the court here in Rome agrees to this. But what is significant about this case is that if the trial does continue, it will be the first time that you're seeing the Egyptian security forces being held accountable for a case like this. We'll have to see what comes out of the situation here in Rome. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much for that, Seema Seema Gupta reporting there from Rome.